Hi, I'm Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wiseant, and I'm going to answer questions submitted by a student. Uh, this has to do with a triathlon. Uh, you might have heard of these. Uh, they, they consist of uh, swimming, riding a bicycle, and uh, and then running a marathon. And we're, we're given that uh, the distance of each of these and the rate at which Jack is uh, running or swimming or biking, but we're not told the elapsed time. And so we have to do some math first to set that up. And then we'll be able to draw the graph and talk about the piecewise function. So let's start with the graph. I mean, let's start with getting our data straight here. OK, so we're going to use, uh, we'll start with the swimming first. And distance is equal to rate times time. D equals RT. That's the formula that we'll use over and over. And we're told that the uh, swimming distance is 2.4 miles. And he swims uh, at two miles an hour. It's coming from here to T. So obviously, just divide by two. So 1.2 is equal to T. So 1.2 hours. This is miles per hour. So 1.2 hours is spent uh, swimming. And then after he swims, he rides his bike. So we'll do the same thing for biking. Distance equals rate times time. And the distance that he spends biking is 112. That's coming from here. And he's biking at the rate of 20 miles per hour. So we just put that into the calculator, and I get 5.6 is the time that's spent biking. And then the last thing he does is he, he runs. Once again, we're going to use distance equals rate times time. And we're told that he runs 26 miles, 26.2. And he runs at nine miles per hour. And once again, we just use our calculators, divide 26.2 by nine, and you're going to get 2.91. I'll just call it 2.9 for keep things easy. Okay, so this is the layout of the of the triathlon he's going to swim and then bike and then run and he's going to be swimming for 1.2 hours followed by biking for 5.6 hours followed by running for 2.9 hours so now we can think about the graph because i think we want to do everything based on a graph so this will be the total total distance total distance that he's traveled and of course that's going to be in miles and this is uh, elapsed time And this is going to be in hours, because those are the units that are given to us. So let's set up, let's start him off swimming. Now, obviously, we're starting at the origin at zero time. He's traveled zero distance, so we know that's a point. Fill that point in, 
and then we know that 1.2 hours later he will have traveled uh, two point he will have swum swam <laughs> 2.4 miles so uh, we'll give this a 1.2 here and he will have the swimming piece is 2.4 miles so and we'll just put a dot here and then we'll connect the dots okay so that's swimming maybe I should change color we started with swimming now he's going to be biking so for biking he's going to be going uh, traveling for another 5.6 hours so it's a pretty big jump here now 5.6 plus 1.2 is 6.8 so I'm going to put 6.8 here and now the total distance traveled you can see is going to be 2.4 plus 112 so that's 114.4 and I'm not going to be able to draw this to scale One fourteen point four, so that's going to be here. So this is the biking, and maybe I'll just put up just a blue here, just so you can remember what we're using for color codes. And now we'll add a color. for the uh, last leg which is running so oops I didn't change color so we'll make that orange and so here it's the time elapsed is 2.9 so we'll add 2.9 to 6.8 we get let's see 9.7 so he's doing this thing he's been busy doing this thing for 9.7 hours and over that period of 9.7 hours you can see this is the distance traveled and when you add those things up you get uh, 117 let me just check that 2.4 2.4 plus 112 plus 26.2 I don't know how I got that. Yeah, that's 140. Let's do it up here. We'll just erase these. Uh huh. No, I erased the axis. Okay. So that's 140. So that's the total uh, distance traveled. It's 140.6 miles. Excuse my handwriting. Okay, 112, one. 32, 138. Yeah, that seems right. So here we are now. We can finish our graph. Once we finish the graph, basically, the work is over. Okay, so now we're ready to go after uh, parts A and B here. And I'll go back to, to going black here. 
and we'll look at parts A and B. So for part A, we need to write out the uh, function and from the based on the graph. So you could say distance, you could write it D as a function of time. That's the way our graph is. Okay, so when t is at least is greater than or equal to zero up until 6.8, oh, sorry, 1.2. That's supposed to be a zero here. We just need to find the equation of this line, and the black line. And then from 1.2 uh, to 6.8. And then nine six point eight to nine point seven. We just have to get these three equations, which is not particularly difficult because we're given two points. I'm tempted to skip this part, but we won't. Um, but that's what you would do here. So uh, we have two points for each of these lines and points here. So, but I'm going to, as I move along here, uh, I'm going to be filling in part B because uh, the answer for uh, swimming to biking. Well, that occurs at 1.2, 2, 2.4. Sorry, that's a 4. And actually, we're given the, um, now I just noticed that we're given the slope here because we have the rate, which is 2. So um, this is just going to be 2t So that's a line that starts at the origin and ends up here with a slope of 2 1.4 1.2 1 The next one uh, we are giving the slope again here because we know how fast he's biking he's biking at 112. So we can just use point slope here. And I didn't allow enough room for that. So let me change colors again to the biking. And um, let's see. So biking. Uh, is a 20, uh, 20 miles per hour. So it, this point slope here, we'll use the point, uh, let's use the point 6.8 comma 114. So it's going to be y minus 114. Equals the slope, which is going to be 20 times x minus 6.8. Sorry about my handwriting. I'm going to go back and fix that. Having a little trouble with my.
writing stylus here, so it's going to be. Y minus 6.8 equals 20 times, whoops, Y minus 114. Point four. Okay, and now we'll do this last one. This is red. Uh, this orange color. So again, we'll use this uh, point up here. So it's going to be y minus that point on top is. 140.6 and the rate at which he's running is 9 x minus 9.6 9 so there we go so that is our piecewise function. And I think we're just left with one more thing to answer, which we could pull right off the graph. So I'm just going to change colors again, finish this off. So this was swimming to biking, and then they want biking to running. And that's going to be 6.8, comma, 114, And that's it. We've answered the question. So it's, it's not really that hard. It's just uh, tedious. There's just a lot of detail. Um, and so it's just kind of an annoying problem. I think the, the main thing about this problem is the distance equals rate times time. And if you, if you know that, then it's just a matter of piecing together all the parts. But um, doing this on a test would be kind of uh, stressful just because it, it takes so long. But it's not that hard, I think. Anyway, hopefully that helped you with this one. And uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye.